been fortunate uh, that he's done this for us uh, every summer when he comes back in town. And, you know, the one thing, obviously, that goes without saying, his donation created this for us, which is a, you know, game changer for us in everything we do, from each of you guys getting better every day to our recruiting. Some of you guys, when you came here, we talked about this being a vision, and now it actually happened. Um, and so, to me, the coolest thing is, you know, during an NBA season, when we were making our run last year, you turn around in the locker room and we're celebrating, he's right there with us. Uh, if, you, if you go back and look at our video of some of the highlights and stuff, to see the passion and the excitement for you guys that he had. I mean, I still look back at the clips and, 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 and see how our fans react and the booster and alumni and somebody of, of his background and, 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 a, and a current NBA player um, is so, so cool. We, we can't be more appreciative because nobody loves this program more than he does. Nobody on the face of the earth. So with that, I'm going to turn it over. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. How y'all doing, man? <laughs> I know y'all get tired of this speech. We've been doing this now. Coach, how many years you've been here? We've been doing it before. I know it's been four with him, and then the previous coaches always come back every summer. Uh, Eck was here with me uh, in 04, 07. To say I've been out of school now for, uh, it's my 11th year finishing in the NBA, so I've been out of college now you know, for, for over a decade. But it's still to come back, man, and obviously to walk in this place, you know, forget the name on the building, just to be able to walk in here and have our own practice facility. Because when I was here, just last year, y'all was at the Boys and Girls Club type stuff. So just for me to walk in here, man, is I'm excited for you guys. You know, I follow you guys all the time. I caught uh, the Nashville game, the Atlanta game. Uh, it's just an exciting time, man. I mean, I know where the program was at when I was here. I know where it dipped off to when I left, and I know where it's at now. And, I follow you guys, like I said, when it, was, when it was down. So I'm not a bandwagon guy. I've been with you guys the whole time. I'm just excited just to be around the NBA, man, and just to hear them talk about Nevada now, like, like they're talking about UCLA, like they're talking about Duke, like they're talking about North Carolina. And it's just, you know, all the hard work you guys did. We talked last summer. Everything we talked about, you guys came in and did. You guys shared the ball, played hard, played well, and it was fun to watch, you know. So with that, I know you guys got, you know, <coughs> three guys in that tested the draft, you know, coming back on this year's season. Last year was a little bit different because, you know, you guys was, I won't say the underdogs, but you guys didn't have the name or people didn't expect, only coaches expected what y'all was going to do, the outside people didn't. So with that, every game next year is going to be totally different. In this season, like make a statement. Let them know that last year just was not a one-year type thing. Like y'all going to do this over and over. And for the guys that want to go in the NBA, like I said, it's my, I finished my 11th year, and last year probably was the toughest year Mentally, more than physically, because uh, probably in, I was in New York. I got waived by New York, and then I ended up signing to D.C., but I didn't play that much last year. It was the first year of my career where I didn't really play, like, you know, didn't play. I, it was games I didn't even dress out, but I still had to come in day in and day out and work hard every day. I was working like I was my, it was my first year, coming in early, getting shots up. I was never one of those guys that, like, man, why am I doing this in my 11th year? Like, because you just never know, you know, what kind of obstacles you come across in your career. But for you guys, you know you guys want to get to the NBA, but it starts with the team. Like if he averaged 25 and 25, I'm going to tell you right now, y'all don't make a tournament. That 25 is, is, is worthless. Like that's the, way the, that's the way the league is going now. It's all about winning. It's all about playing team ball. You got guys in the NBA that's averaging six points a game signing for $80 million. Like it ain't like you got to average 30 or 40. They're looking at it like, who can come in and be that piece, who can fit? Not who's going to shoot the ball 25 times, or who's going to shoot the ball 30 times. So to say that is, I mean, you guys go out there and play your games, but winning is going to take care of it all, man. If you guys do what you guys are supposed to do as a team, the rest of it is going to be history. Like, when draft night comes, when your time comes, it's going to be right there. So don't think you guys got to go out there and do more than what you got to do. Like, if you guys win and play together like y'all did last year, I mean, the rest will take care of itself. And I mean, like I said, I can't. Say how proud I was of you guys last season, man. Just what you guys did for the university and for yourself, for you guys, for, you, for yourselves and whatnot. So.